this is not see how it goes. Um, my husband and I are sitting here having a conversation. We're headed down to Kentucky to see some family. Have some good family time. Yeah, grandmas. Anyway, so as road trips grow, we're talking. And um, someone near and dear to my heart, actually a couple of people near and dear to my heart, have TBIs, traumatic brain injuries. And last night I was meeting with some of my girlfriends, and we were discussing one set of person with traumatic brain injuries, uh, and about how uh, they were struggling with depression and anger and doubt of God. You know, these, this, this person, actually both people, are children of God who have loved the Lord um, for many, many years, and now they have this traumatic brain injury and these issues they're dealing with. Um, they're struggling with, where's God? I've witnessed God, you know, heal this person and heal that person and miracle here and miracle there. Where's my miracle? You know, and they're upset. And understandably upset. And mind you, both, both people have witnessed um, many miracles. By all, by all accounts, they should already be dead. And if they were living, they should be in a vegetative state. But they're not. They have the right mind. They have enough cognizant of mind to be mad at God, you know. So... Um, that, in, that alone is a miracle and it's a blessing. Um, but anyway, my husband and I were talking and he goes, this should make, it, this should make a good video because that's what we're recording. Because I think he makes a good point. Um, when my girlfriend had mentioned, you know, traumatic brain injury, you know, puts you in a state where it's hard for you to, um, Put you in a state where, you know, it's hard to control your thoughts, it's hard to be in your right mind, because you're not in your right mind, you did have a traumatic brain injury. And I'm like, yeah, but they may have a traumatic brain injury, and they, they are, they are just make it difficult to function and have a, a mindset, this, that, and the other, but they still have control of their mind. They can still control where their thoughts go. But Satan relishes our injuries. He loves it when we're injured because that's his play field. That's his playground. He comes in and plays. He's like, oh, great, you're injured. Let's bring in doubt. Let's bring in depression. Let's bring in anger. Let's bring in frustration. Let's bring in hate. Let's bring in fear. Let's bring in anxiety. Those are all demonic spirits, and he's just bombarding you with it because you're injured. You are in a weakened state physically and spiritually that starts affecting you. And Satan's just bringing in one attack after the next attack after the next attack. He's trying to take your focus and steal your joy of the Lord. And he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Well, guess what? A traumatic brain injury comes in and it's destroyed your body. Now he's trying to destroy your spirit. It is stealing your joy, which is killing your spirit. You know, so ultimately, the enemy, he's, he's rejoicing because he's winning the battle in this traumatic brain injury state. We have to understand, and we need encouragement to understand and see that the enemy is using that as a playground. Yes, I have a traumatic brain injury. Yes, my mind doesn't, I have a hard time focusing. Yes, I have a hard time remembering things, but I still remember and I still focus and I still have control over where my thoughts go. I don't have to accept depression. I don't have to accept anxiety. I don't have to accept anger at God. I can go back and say, no, yes, he did witness, I did witness this miraculous miracle where this was completely around. But God is going to receive the glory in this because God is still good. We can take control of our thoughts even when we are injured because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is not going to abandon you in your time of storm. He's still with you. He's still walking with you and guiding you, still loving you. And yes, he is still working in you. And it's important that we come alongside them and remind them of these things. It's important to come alongside them and encourage them in the word of the Lord and in the love of the Lord and remind them of who they are, that this traumatic brain injury is not their definition of who they are. No, it does not define them. Their identity and their definition of who their identity is is still in Christ. Yeah, that's it. That's a quick little tidbit is that injury is where Satan loves to play. It says, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities, powers, 
spiritual host of wickedness, and oh, what have you got? Uh, they're not hosts of darkness, but anyway, the principalities of darkness. I know I get that wrong, but wickedness, spiritual host of wickedness, is pain ridden evil. Traumatic brain injury is pain ridden and evil to sweep in. It. Definition of wickedness is pain ridden evil. And that pain ridden evil is where Satan loves to come in and have a field day on that playground. Well, let's shut down his field day. Let's close off his playground. And let's take it.